Hello everybody, John here today. Today we are going to be reviewing the Elite Force Glock 17 Model 3. This is the third model they've come out with of the Glock 17. They, I think they're releasing the 5 pretty soon. Alright, but let's get straight into it. Alright, first thing that I'd like to get into is the gun itself. It's a pretty standard not gun format. The only thing is it does not have a hammer. And without a hammer, it means it's internally firing. So there's nothing to get caught on here. Anyways, let's get into features. Trigger safety. I cannot pull the trigger all the way back. Actually, no, wait. That's not good. I cannot pull the trigger all the way back if I do not have my finger fully wrapped around the trigger. You see how it let me pull it back there? But if I have it here, cannot pull it back. Here, cannot pull it back. Here, can pull it back. So you can fire. It has a safety on it. Alright, anyways. Next. Let's get into the magazine. Oh yeah, this thing also has an internal hammer. So no need to worry, it's still hammer operated. Anyways, next we have the magazine. This holds 22 rounds. You can load them in through the side here. This has... This button releases the gas. So after you're done firing, point this away from you. Hit it. It's going to release the gas. It holds 22 rounds. It has all the official Glock markings. Sorry for the marks. They're not on there usually. Those are from me using it. Uh, also, in order to get to your gas thing, your gas nozzle, you have to... You see this little knob here? You have to pull that down and then push this forward while it's pulled down. Your gas thing's under that. So you can see the gas thing. Or the uh, gas nozzle, I guess you'd call it. Alright. You can cover it up if you want it to look more official. If you don't want it to look official at all, you can just take this off. Because... Sorry. I killed the bug. Stop it. Stop killing the gnats, Gunner. Anyway. Anyways... This is the magazine. Alright. Anyways. Now we're going to go through disassembly of the weapon. So, these buttons on the side. You only have to pull these little things on the side. You have to pull this one of them down. Either one works. Alright. So, I'm just... I'm right-handed, so I'm going to do that with that. Pull that backward. Then it should come off. There's your hop-up. Right there, that little knob. It comes pretty well adjusted. You don't need to adjust it very much. But you may need to adjust it a little bit if you're going for longer range shooting. Anyways, you can see the internal hammer right there. Alright, anyway. Let's get it. Okay, so reassembly of the gun. It's simple as taking it apart. So, you put it on the frame. Lining up with, line it up with the rails on the frame, right? Okay. Now, this little piece here, I hate this piece. This drives me insane when putting the gun back together. Like, you see how it sticks out of the front? It's not supposed to do that. And it drives me insane. Give me a sec. Okay, you have to put a little bit of force into it. It's reassembled now. If you want to clean it, you can do that. Slides a bit wiggly. Anyways, it has all the real Glock perfection markings. Because they got permission from Glock. This is one of the most realistic Glocks I've seen. Because it's officially licensed product by Glock. You can see it on there. This is made by Elite Force. They make a bunch of Glocks. You can get Glock 19s, Glock 18s, Glock 17s. Um, you can get almost every Glock from them. They even have the 19X, the new one. It... it if you want a, something with ambidextrous, if you're left-handed, you want the 19X, because that's ambidextrous. Like, this slide release, right here, it'll be on both sides. It'll be on this side and this side. This is already, and so will the mag release. You can release it from both sides. Bugs. Alright, anyway. There was your review on the Elite Force Glock 17. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Have a great day.